All right. So now we are in Bab A, Palapan Palarasan, Part D, Pelupusan Aset Bukan Semasa. All right. So for the last class, we have already discussed on question one. Uh, the journal arm for pelupusan. Alright, so this one really done. If you have missed last week's class, then you can go back to the recording and watch it again. Alright, so here is the answer for the question one. Alright, so now we will be discussing question two. So question two is not is no longer a journal arm. Alright, as you can see, we have to do account account. Account account means ledger. Right, we have to do ledger in this question. So take out your buku nota or your text pad. Okay, and let's do question two together. Okay, so question two. Pada 1 April 2019, perniagaan Husna telah membeli sebuah mesin yang berkos 50,000, 50,000 uh, ringgit secara cek. So, you buy a machine with 50,000. So, this is your cost. Okay. Kada susu nilai telah ditetapkan pada 10% setahun Okay, so this is the kaida, the percentage, the kaida 10%. Okay, men ikut what? Then we have to find out which method of susut nilai are we using. Very important, all this uh, important information while doing the questions. Alright, so for kaida galus rubrics, meaning you are using uh, this kaida, alright. So what is the formula for this kaida? You're using cos straight away times the kada, which in this case will be 50,000 times 10%, you will get your susut nilai machine. Okay? And then, they tell you, by the 31st December 2020, machine itu adalah dijual pada harga 45,000. Okay? So, uh, you draw. So, when you see a word dijual, maksud this is a, what account are we talking about in this chapter? Account Pelupusan. Alright, so when you see, see the word draw, it is a pelupusan. And then you, you draw dengan harga 45,000 dan cek diterima. Okay. Tahun kewangan perniagaan Husna berakhir 31st December setiap tahun and anda dikendaki merekakan akaun-akaun berikut bagi 2 tahun sehingga 31st December 2020. So, if 2 tahun Sampai 31st December 2020, meaning last, the last one will be December 31st 2020. Okay, the second year. So the first year, the year before 2020 will be 2019, 31st December. Okay, so kita perlu buat 2 tahun. 2019, 2020. Alright, are you guys following? If you are following, give me a F in the chat box please tell me if you are following okay very good okay so now question two so how do we so before you start with the a account machine what we're gonna do is you first calculate all right so in order to calculate, of course, you need to apply all these uh, information from the question. Okay, so let's account for the susut nilai in 2019. Okay, so what is the susut nilai for 2019? SN stands for susut nilai. Ah. So, susut nilai machine for 2019 is... How much? Using 50, the cost. So you just use cost times the percentage. All right. And then times the tempo. So this will be the formula. 
All right, so this one you can refer to the uh the the formula. This uh the formula for uh suit nilai in bab eight. What this is D so A B C so in C eight C will be in the nota for eight C. All right, so what is the cost? Fifty thousand. So fifty thousand times the percentage here will be ten percent. Right, ten percent. And how long is the tempo? The tempo will be from 1st April 2019 sampai 31st when? 31st December 2019. Because now we are doing for 2019 when you're, all right? So when you're calculating for the susut nilai, it must be end on 31st December 2019. So from 1st April sampai 31st December 2019 is how long? Four, April, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, December twelve. All right. So twelve means some. So you start from April, somebody December. There are nine good months. All right. So it times nine over twelve. Okay. So you just calculate that. Right, so 50,000 times 10% times 9 over 12, you get 3,000 RM, 3,750. Okay, so this will be the Susut Nilai in 2019 only. Okay. So what about for 20, because we need to do for 2020 as well, all right? So what about the susut nilai for 2020? So same, all right? So will be cost. So now using the cost same is 50,000 times the percentage is 10% times now the tempo. So for 2020, when do you start counting from? Because you believe from 1st April 2019, right? So you use, you use, you use, you use sampai 31st December 2019. So after 31st December 2019 will be 1st January 2020. And we will be continue to use it, isn't it? So from 1st January sampai 31st December, because we only sell on 31st. All right, so 1st January sampai 31st is one whole year, satu tahun. All right, so... If it is a satu tahun, you can either write times one, okay? Because one is also equals to 12 over 12 because from January, February, blah, 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 sampai December is 12 months. If you don't want, because times one is equals to times nothing also. So you can write straight away, write times 10. Boleh juga. All right? So here, I'll just straight away use 50,000 times 10%. You get 5,000 for the one whole year okay so now after you know the susu for 2019 the susu from 2020 then we can proceed to do a and please bear in mind every account that we get open we have to do it for two years all right so now you book an account machine so make sure all the account you when you book out the ledger you leave enough space for 2019 and 2020. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So here you write account machine. So skip like five to I mean six to eight lines, okay? Then here will be for account susut nilai terkumpul machine. Okay, let's skip same six to eight lines. And then uh, you have to book up account pelupusan machine. After that is the account untung 
atas dulu personal machine. So you take your time, open this four account, which are A, B, C, and B. Okay, take your time to open all this account. So make sure you leave enough space. Okay, you don't copy my line here. You don't come and count one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you 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 copy say oh because I leave six six lines, then you you want to uh skip six lines. No, okay, because later as you can you can see I'm using Excel, so I can plus later, I can minus later. Okay. So for you, best advice is you, you leave more space. You think if in uh if it is enough, then you go for it. All right. You don't make yourself like oh all small rapa rapa and then uh when you submit to your exam, then the lecturer or the teacher while they are marking is very hard for them to see your numbers to see your words. So best is leave enough space, okay, and then spread out your your wording. Make it clear and systematic okay so now so make sure for all these account you have all the year all right so we start from 2019 all right so 2019 make sure you have ringgit malaysia okay, so let's start from account machine first okay so you can see from by the first april 2019 Telah membeli sebuah mesin 50,000. So, when you buy a machine, okay, so machine comes in. So, when machine comes in, in accounting, in is like a debit, while out is like a credit. So, apabila you beli mesin, mesin itu masuk atau keluar. Definitely, it comes in. That's why we want to buy. When we buy, the thing comes in. So, in means debit. Therefore, we have to debit our account machine. Which date we believe? April 1. So, dengan apa? Kita guna check. So, whenever you see check, they are referring to account bank. So, here you can write from bank, 50,000 is the cost. Yeah. Right, of course, okay, when we are talking about ledger, okay, debit credit, definitely when we debit one account, we have to credit another account. So if you want to book up a account bank, it will show here. So let's say this is account bank. But then why don't I open account bank is because in this question, we are not required to book up account bank. Therefore, I don't show it here. But if you want, because in exam, you can write to show your working and so on. Therefore, you can show account bank. It's just that you don't have mark for it. You can write it there. Okay, tak ada salah. Tapi tak ada marka pun. So, it's up to you. So, if you understand, then you just put it without buka account bank. But then, if you are not sure why is it debit or you want to know the debit credit, then you can book up a small one beside. Again, right? So, when we debit, the account machine, I have to credit an account. So what is the account that we have to credit? Credit account bank here. Something like this. To machine. 50,000. So you can see when we buy a machine, apabila kita beli machine, wang itu apa? Keluar. So when money goes out, out means what? Credit. Therefore, I credit my account bank because the money is going out. Therefore, you can see one account is debit, and then the other account must be in credit. So that is how you do. But then this one, you can just uh, ignore it. Okay, you don't have to write in your answer. Okay, next. So after we buy a machine, every time you have to remember, 
after you buy a machine, okay, if it is an asset bukan semasa, I don't care, asset bukan semasa can be machine, perabot, kenderaan, blah, blah, blah. Ken, okay? So, as long as it is an asset bukan semasa and they tell you either kaeda, kaeda susunan, then you must record for this susut nilai. Okay? So, therefore, kita ada susut nilai terkumpu mesin. So, here 2019, credit, and you have to know susut nilai terkumpu is always on the credit side. Well, susut nilai is on the debit side. This is what we have learned from 8C. Okay, if you don't know what is in 8C, the susut nilai dan susut nilai terkumpu, please go back and watch the recording. The recording are there for you to watch it back if you don't understand. You can do the revision using my recordings. All right? So, S and T, susunan terkumpu is credit. So, here, you put December 31st. Why December 31st? Because I told you, all this polarisation is always happen on December 31st. I mean, what happened on the tahun berakhir. So, here, when is tahun berakhir? 31st December, setiap tahun. All right? So, that's why I use the date, December 31st. So, here, putiran always write susun nilai. So how much? We already calculated for 2019. 3,750. So here, 3,750. So yeah, not sure. So since we credit, so what do we debit? Kita always debit susut nilai. So if you have an account, susut nilai. So account, susut nilai machine. So here we will debit it. December 31st, this is SNT machine, which is susut nilai terkumpu machine, 3750. See, so this is how you record. Hmm. 3750, so one credit, one must be debit. One debit, this must be credit. You see, so this is how you record for SNT. Always on the credit side. Okay, so that's it for 2019. All right, then we can do it. Because do we have the record for this in 2019? The answer is no. Kenapa? Because bila yang kita jual, kita jual pada 31st December 2020, the queue is in 2020. Does it happen in 2019? No. So if it doesn't happen in 2019, Maksud dalam 2019, kita tak ada pelupusan. When tak ada pelupusan, we don't have to buka account pelupusan dan untung atas pelupusan. Okay, so now we move on. We close the account and bring it down to 2020. So this is how you bring it down. You put double line. And this is, all this is in ledger. Okay, if you don't know how to do all this ledger, go to Bab Lima. Title, tajuk, ledger, and then you watch the recording. You see? The resources are there. You just whether you want to watch it or not. That will be your action. So, baki, hanta ke bawah. Baki HB. So, HB bawah ke bawah becomes BB. So, the next year, uh, sorry, after next year, we start from January 1st lah. Okay, so baki HB, bawah ke bawah become BB. BB. So here, this one will be 50,000. So same for your S and T. Double line. So it's 2019. Ring Malaysia. 3750. December 31st, Baki HB. By the way, this one you write, Susut Nilai Machine. So HB, BB will go to the other side. Lah, okay? So same thing. HB from here, you come here. HB here, then your BB will be here. Baki, BB. 2020, January 1. Same figure, 3750. Okay, so this one I don't need to show. Okay, so this one uh, is just 
a uh, working. So make sure here is correct. Okay. Then, now, by the 31st December 2020, get the job uh, machine in it. So, when do we sell? We sell on 31st December 2020. Now, so from 1st January 20 sampai 31st December 2020, apa yang berlaku? Kita ada guna. So, when you are using the asset bukan semasa, as long as the asset bukan semasa is dengan kita, kita mesti susut nilaikan. Therefore, before you sell, we have to susut nilai it for the whole 2020. That's why we done this one. So, nilai machine for 2020, how do you calculate? This is the cost 50,000 times the percentage 10% and it is one full year from 1st January sampai 31st. Therefore, we don't have to uh, divide it. We don't have to spread it out. Okay, so it goes to 5,000. So, what we're going to do is same thing for S and T, there's susut nilai ma. So, whenever there's susut nilai, you record on susut nilai terkumpu. So, same thing, you credit it here. Susut nilai machine, you already calculated is 5,000. Okay, this is on. Um, December the first. All right, so soon nilai machine. Okay, so now after that, I mean, if you want, then there is actually this like something like a twenty twenty. Uh, you know, December thirty first, S and T machine, five thousand ah. Okay, but then we are not recording this set. So I'm just showing you. Here you credit, then you must see that bit. All right. So now, after recording this, then we have to record for the pelupusan. Okay, so remember in the pelupusan, we always buka account pelupusan dulu. So here, I buka account pelupusan machine. Can you see or not? So after that, you pin the, the asset bukan semasa cost to the Perubusan aset bukan semasa. So, this is the account uh, bukan semasa dalam cost 50,000 lah. So, I have to send this machine because I'm selling this machine. Okay, kita sekarang jual machine ini. So, we have to send it to perubusan machine. So, how do we send it? So, here is on the debit. So, I have to take it out. Keluar. So, when you you, you nak keluarkan machine ini, you sell it lah. So, I have to credit it 5,000. So, to pergi mana? Pergi to pelupusan machine. Okay, bila yang ke, uh, mujal, it is on the December 31st mah. You still remember? Okay, hari ini yang kita jual. So, December 31st. So, this is 50,000 lah, not 5,000. So, you can tutupkan. Close this account. So you credit, then you see you credit your machine because this is on the credit side. So if you credit your machine, you have to debit your account per percent machine. 2020, thank you, Malaysia. When? On December 31st. So you can see the direct must be summer. Okay, 50,000, 50,000. So dari mana? Dari machine. This one is under machine. So when you come to here, then write back from machine. Okay, so selepas you bina your asset bukan semasa, which is this account, account machine to here. Now, next thing will be you kira the SNT for this account bukan semasa. So you kira kan the SNT for this uh, machine. So very simple, what you're going to do is because this whole machine punya SNT is how much? So you just use 3,750 plus 5,000, you get how much? So 50 plus 5,000, and then you will get 3,650 plus 5,000, you get 8,650. Correct? So this 8,650 belongs to this machine. Okay, the susut nya to kumbu. So now I have to take it out you pindahkan S and T into perlupusan. So, how do we take it out? So, for S and T will be different. 
when you take it out, because normally, apabila ada SN, the susun nilai, kita akan credit. So, sekarang, if you want to take it out, then you have to debit it. Okay, so here, do one line double line. We jumlahkan. 8750, 8750, 8750. Okay, so this one you send to where? Pindah ke Perlubusan. So Perlubusan machine. On December 31st, 2020. Three seven five zero. What means three seven five zero? I got right anything wrong or not? Three seven five. Oh yeah, this is three seven five zero. Okay, thank you. Three seven five zero. Okay, so three seven five zero plus five thousand equals to five seven. Sorry, eight seven five zero. Therefore, here is 8750. Okay, so because this account, the whole SNT is for this machine. Okay, so 8750, you pin that to Balubusan machine. Okay, here. Because see, debit, ma. So if you debit, you you credit. Lah. Okay, we get Malaysia. December 31st. Dari mana? Dari susut nilai. Too long already. But you you right ah uh, because it's too long for me later we'll call this uh column so I just put shortcuts S N T machine but you write the whole sentence susu nilai tekembu machine how much eight seven five zero from here is it so I already pin the S N T ke account pelupusan uh as a bukan semasa in here will be pelupusan machine lah okay. Last, not last, second last. You recordkan penerimaan tunai daripada penjualan aset bukan semasa. So now, kita berapa yang kita menerima? Mesin itu telah dijual pada harga 45000 dan cek diterima. So, when we terima cek, okay, so I skip this part, so to turn it. So when we terima cek, the money comes in. So when one masuk, masuk means debit, I have to debit my account bank. You understand or not? So here, let's say here, you debit, right? So on December 31st, you debit this money into your bank. For what purpose? For your perlupusan. Can you see? So for your perlupusan machine. How much? 45000 So you debit your bank, 45000 is it or not? So if you debit your account bank here, definitely in your perlupusan, I have to what? Credit it here and put bank. How much? 45000 The amount must be the same. You know? So I debit bank. So sometimes if you're not sure, that's why I say, because here we only require to do four accounts. But sometimes if you're really, really not sure, whether I should credit my bank or debit. I mean, like, should I credit here with bank or debit here with bank? So very simple. You just draw out an account bank and then you use your debit credit concept. So money comes in, you terima wang. Wang masuk means I debit bank. So if you know you have to debit bank, then in your, this account must be in credit. Lah. All right. So now, last step. So after you, then the fifth one, then the sixth will be you have to wujudkan. Is it the untung atau rugi atas perlupusan aset bukan semasa? Okay. So before you boleh wujudkan, definitely we have to close this account because perlupusan is like an account sementara maksudnya kita perlu close it. Okay. So here you have to compare. Now, is it the debit side lebih besar atau credit side lebih besar? The answer is the credit side lebih besar. You add up everything here. The credit side equals to 53,750. This one is just 50,000 mark, correct or not? So here, the journal will be this, 53,750. So this part, you use the jumlah, 53,750 minus the 50,000. 
you get 3,750. Okay? So you will be wondering, so what is this? Is it a untung atau rugi atas pelupusan? So, but of course, this question very good. They're very nice. They tell you this is a untung. <laughs> All right. But then, if the 3,750 is here, okay, so whenever you see, if you are recording the amount here, this is a untung. Untung atas pelupusan. Machine. Belong. Okay, so here when I write, I mentioned this amount, I debit my Polybusan machine, so definitely I have to credit here, lah, right? So here, 2020, Malaysia, December 31st, here, right? Polybusan from Polybusan machine, ma. Polybusan machine. Okay, so here, 20 ringgit Malaysia. So this one, at the end, this untung part, we will send to account untung rugi. Three, seven thousand. That's it. So here in your account rugi, if you have to book out account rugi, let's say here. So this account. This is account on rugi. So here you debit ma. So the account on rugi will be shown on the credit side. Untung atas pelupusan machine three seven thousand. Is it? That's why this is on the credit side because I told you the abalim. This account is based on this abalimon. So the one on the credit side is a hasil. When it's a untung, it's a hasil. If it's a rugi, then it will be in the belanja. All right. So this is how you do this. How you send to account. But then this is not required in the question. In the question, you must have A, B, C, and D. All right. So this is your answer. Are you guys done? If yes, give me a D in the chat box. Type D for done. Okay, so most of you are done. Huh? Okay, so last one. Question three. Okay, so this is the last question for this 8D. All right, so quickly. Tamar Perikonan, no nonsense, Sundaran Berhad, Berakil pada 31st December setiap tahun. So they are telling this is the year end. Lah. Okay, tahun Berakil, 31st. So for all, for all our account, Mesti end, okay, but I feel pada 31st December. 
Okay. Urus niaga yang berikut diperoleh daripada rekod kewangan perniagaan tersebut. So, these are the uh, informasi lah. Okay. So, perabot dibeli pada 1st January 2017 dengan check how much. So, this is our cost. Oh, this is our cost. Right. Then, you buy a kenderaan pada 1st January 2018 dengan check. Okay. So, they're telling us uh, these are the things that we buy lah. Okay. And when did we buy it? Okay. Next, the maklumat tambahan. Perabot disusun nilai 10%. Atas kos. Atas kos meaning we're using garis lurus. The keyword for garis lurus. Like this one tadi punya lah. Okay, kaedah garis lurus. So if the for the kenderaan, 20% setahun atas nilai buku. Nilai buku will be the keyword for kaedah baki berkurangan. So if it's baki berkurangan, we are using the formula will be we are using nilai buku. That's why dia cakap atas nilai buku because we are using nilai buku times the percentage then uh, if there is tempo, it times tempo lah. Alright. Then the third one be pada 31st December 2020 perabot telah dijual dengan harga 4000 Okay, cool. So now anda dikendaki merekodkan Account perabot, account kenderaan, susut nilai terkumpu perabot, susut nilai terkumpu kenderaan, and E, account perubusan perabot. Alright, so but then in this question, they never say how many years. Like this question, they cakap bagi 2 tahun, right? Okay, but then for this question, they never say anything. So I would just assume, but in fact, in actual exam, right? They will tell you for how long bunya lah usually. But then for this question, I didn't specify it. So for me, I'll just say uh, let's do for 31st December 2020. When you account. So we just do one year only. Okay, you don't have to do two years. Huh? In this question, we do one year only. Okay. So question three. Account perabot, account kenderaan. So, but then before that, let's calculate what is the susut nilai terkumpu for all this. Alright. So, we have perabot, we have kenderaan, ma, correct not. So, let's start from uh, perabot dulu. Because this is from 1st January and they didn't tell us what is the susut nilai. So, for us, when we want to, they, they want us to do SNT, Parabot, and Kendaraan. So we have to show, we have to calculate the Susunia. Lah, okay. So let's start from Parabot first. Parabot, Susunia, Parabot for Kita Beli Pada 2017. So you start from 2017. Because you start using then. And this is Guna, Parabot using 10% setahun atas cost. So if atas cost, very simple. Use cost times percentage. Correct not? And if there's tempo, it times tempo lah. It's the same thing. Yeah, so here the cost is 8,500. Correct not? For Susan Nye per about 8,500 times 10%. Okay, times 10%, you get 850. That's for 2017 because we kita bermula 1st January. So 1st January sampai to the 1st December is 12 months. Therefore, you don't have to times something over 12. We only do this times something over 12, this part. When you see it's not up to 12 months. It's just lesser than 12 months because you start from 1st April. That's when I have to times. How many months have you used? Over 12 months. All right. Okay, so continue for susut nilai perabot for 2018. So you're using the same cost, 8,500 times 10%, you still get 850. Corona. That's why it is called a Garis Lurus. Why? Because the 
is the same. 850, 2017 is 850, 2018 is 850, 2019 is 850. It's the same. That's why it's called Garis the straight line basis. Okay? So for 2019, it's the same. Lah. No changes, ma. And then same goes to 2020. If you do the calculation, it's all the same. Okay. But then what about Kandaraan? Okay, so let's start for so Sunni like Kandaraan. 20, now this is from 2018 ah, because the Bali Pada first year in 2018. So dear Kandaraan di susun nilai men ikut nilai buku. So you're using nilai buku times the percentage. And how do we get this nilai buku? You are using cost minus S and T. So this is a formula, right? Times percentage. So but then for this question for 2018, the cost is 98,000, isn't it? But then do we have S and T on 1st January 2018? For 2018, definitely kita dah ada S and T. Alright, so I have to minus zero times the percentage is 20%. And then you get how much? So 98,000 times 20%, you get 19,600. So this will be the susut nilai for 2018. Let me continue. So the susut nilai kenderaan for 2017, uh, sorry, 2019, using the same concept, the nilai buku, okay, minus the s &T. So now, I mean, sorry, the cost minus s &T times percentage. The same thing, 98,000, okay. So what is the s now? 19,600. Right or not? Your, now the susun nilai tekumpu is 19,000. This is a susun nilai, ma, right? So the susun nilai tekumpu so far, you add up together, it's just 19,600. So from here, after you minus, you times 20%. So you will get 98,000 minus 19,600 times 20%. You get, okay, if I get it right, really. Minus times twenty percent, you get fifteen thousand six hundred eighty. So this is for twenty nineteen. What about twenty twenty? So same. You're using ninety eight thousand minus. So now after. What is the susu nilai tunggu now? You're using 19,900. After you minus 19,600, 19, you have to minus 15,680 also. You have to minus all the susu nilai that you have for this kenderaan. Then only times 20%. So here, the answer will be 8,000 minus 19,600. Minus 15,680, I get 62,720. So then it times 20%, you get 12,544. So now this is for Kaeda Baki Bakurangan. So what is Baki Bakurangan? So you can see that slowly it is going lower and lower. So at first, this is 19,600, you can see. On 2018. But then when you come down to 2019, you can see that it, become, it drops to 15,680. And then when you go to 2020, it lagi jatuh sampai 12,544. Yeah, see the difference? That's why Garis Lulus is the same straight line every year, 850, 850. But then for Baki Bakurangan, 
every year dia akan jatuh. Why? Because we are using nilai buku. Nilai buku we always jatuh for every year. Okay, so after you get all this figure, we can do for A and B. So for A, buka account lah. Account terabot. So we just do for 2020 only lah, okay? Don't have to do much. So you see ah, uh, imagine ah, uh, if we start, you believe from 2017, so definitely we have the debit per abode, okay? So after that, kita akan baki handa ke bawah, handa ke bawah, handa ke bawah. So until 2020, Start from January 1st, it will be labeled as Baki BB, bawah ke bawah. The cost will be 8500. That's it. After that, will be your account Kandaran. So it's the same thing for Kandaran. We show on the Baki BB. Okay, so because you you beli pada 2018 lah. So 2018 you hantar ke bawah to 2019. 19 bawah ke bawah to 2020. So here bawah ke bawah 2020 the cost 98,000 you record the cost. Right. After that next will be your account susun nilai terkumpu for susun Nilai terkumpul perabot. Now, you have to know ah, for susut nilai terkumpul perabot is on the where? The credit side. The Baki BB is on the credit side. So, January 1, Baki BB. So, you can see here we straight away cut to here. For the question that we are from the top. So this is from the top. First you debit, you credit lah with Susan and Machine. But then at the end, the next you will be starting from Bucky BB already. So from here, same thing. We are from straight away go into the debit. That's why there is a Bucky BB for S and T. Okay, so how much? So for you to calculate for parabola with S and T, we have to calculate for the past year. So you start from 2017, right? So 2017, that's 850. Eight, for 2018, 850. 2019, 850. For 2020, you don't start first. All right, because you are, this is January 1, when you're back to BB. Meaning, on this date, you are recording for all the susut nilai before 2020. Meaning 2017, 2018, 2019. All right, so it goes how much? So 850. 850 plus 850 plus 850. Stop here. 2550. Okay. Then only you credit your S and T December 31st. Because now only you record for 10D, 10D when you susu nilai. Or not. So here. So, so nilai for 850. So put it here first. Okay, then buka another account. Kenderaan. So, so nilai kenderaan. Nilai terkumpul kenderaan. So same thing. Lucky BB. But now the amount different lah. So now, because it's up from January 1st, 2020, ma. so for the Baki BB must be all the susu nilai, all the Baki before January 1st, 2020. So before 2020 will be for year 2018 and year 2019 in this case. So use 19,600 plus 15,680. So you get 
35,000 for your bucky V, 35,280. This is a bit specific. Okay. So then here, December 31st, only we record this year. 2020 So for 2020 will be 12,544, which we just calculated. So you just should we put here 12,544. Is it? Because this is for 2020 Bunya. Alright. Okay, then why do you have to record for Lupusan? Memang, there is something yang dijaw. So, when you read back this one, pada 31st December 2020, perabot telah dijaw. Apa yang dijaw? Perabot yang telah dijaw. So, if perabot dijaw, maksudnya, I have to buka account pelupusan perabot. Pelupusan perabot. Okay, so like the step, if you refer back here, so you book up perlupusan, lepas tu you go to your account perabot, pindah, go to your SNT perabot, pindah, and then lastly, you record the penerimaan tunai, not lastly, second last, and then lastly, you find out is it the untung atau rugi. Okay, so come back to here. So first thing first, you hantar your perabot lah. Okay, so here... So you need 8,500 sent to Pelupusan Perabot on December 31st, 2020. So here I credit my Perabot, Pelupusan Perabot must be the EPI. From Perabot, 8,500. So after that will be your SNT Perabot. So I have to clear out, I have to take out all the susut nilai terkumpul yang ada pagi Perabot. So here, here one line, double line. You add up. So here you can see how much is the jumlah susut nilai terkumpul for your Perabot. So it's 3,400. And this 3,400, I have to send it to Perlupusan Perabot. So if I debit my susunan to kumpu perabot here, I have to credit perlupusan here. So here, December 31st, S and T or susunan to kumpu perabot. How much is that? 3,400. Okay, sorry, 3,400. Okay, then you have you should have pinda perabot, should have pinda SNT. Lastly, you'll be your bank. You menerima wang. So when you menerima dijo dengan harga four thousand mah, okay. So when you menerima wang, you must debit your bank, alright. So after you debit your bank, you have to credit your pelupusan. That's why you see always the bank is on the credit side in your Pelupusan. You can see pelupusan machine. The asset bukan sama sama be must be here. SNT must be on the credit side. Bank must be on the credit side. So you see, it's consistent in here. SNT credit, bank on the credit. So berapa yang harga yang four thousand. After that, skip online double line and check which side is bigger. Now for this question. The habit size is bigger, isn't it? 8,500. So on the credit side, 8,500 juga. Then you minus up. You use 8,500 minus 3,400 minus the bank, 4,000. You get 1,100. So what is this 1,100? So tadi, if you remember, if this, if I record here, it is a untung, 
Maksud dia, we will call a rugi atas perlupusan mesin. So, this one later will be in the account untung rugi debit side. Because this is a belanja. Rugi is a belanja. So, this is how you record for this question. That's it. So, the rest of you can close it. And the other job of you can hantar ke bawah. This one. So, 98,000. Baki HP. The 20 Tunggu Malaysia December 31st So, anda ke bawah Bawa ke bawah Okay, then same For your SNT lah Okay, kenderaan So, you just hantar to next year Jumlahkan, you get 47,824. This one, I will send it. Key, H, B, next year. Bawa ke bawah. This is for 2021. So this is the final answer for this question three. All right, are you guys done? If yes, give me a done on the chat box, D-O-N-E. Done. Okay, done. All right. Okay, so that's all for this bug A D Rubusan asset Ruban Sumasa. All right, so whenever we forget about a step, just come back to this Lanka for Rubusan. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then, you know, uh, they will guide you to do this. Uh, account lah, right? So now next, let's enter to 8E. All right, Bob 8E. So the nota I will send to you guys later after the class, but now we just focus on the screen here. So now look at question one. All right, but you can here this question one. I will give you five, five minutes too long lah. Okay, I will give you three minutes. All right, three minutes to look through this question. Okay, and then think. Or if you can, you want, you can start doing it already. But make sure you look through it and think how should you do this question. All right. So this in this question, it will be a combination of what we have learned from eight A, eight B, C, D. We add up together becomes this 8E. All right, so this will be chambo chambo part. All right, so start from now, three minutes, read and think how to do. If you can, you start doing it now.
Okay, three minutes already. All right, so now how to do or not? So very simple. Let's see question one. Okay, let me read first. Ada gaya yang akan juga penegangan Diana, Diana pada reference di dalam bahasa dan dia adalah seperti very good. So all this is like your imbangan juga. Yeah, I told you here. This is like your imbangan juga. Imbangan juga. Okay, and then this is your maklumat tambahan. So one seorang pelanggan telah meninggal dunia. Dan bakinya 500 dihapuskan sebagai hutang lapuk. So, there is a hutang lapuk. To PHR, seras kepada 4%. Three, lengkapan disusun nilai 10% setahun atas kos pada 31st December. Jadi, lengkapan dijual pada harga 9,000 dan cek di dalam. So, there is a pelupusan. Dijual mah. So, there's a pelupusan. And then when you see a susut nilai, maksud, there is also a susut nilai account they have to what? Alright. So, let's start from A. On A. Uh, or, you can actually book out all the account now. If you want. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So account hutang lapor. Account peruntukan hutang ragu. Account lengkapan. Checking to me now. Account susu nilai terkumpul. Lengkapan, lastly, account pelupusan lengkapan. Okay, let's start from leng uh, hutang lapuk first. Okay, so you can see that here there is a hutang lapuk already. 600. Okay, yeah, there is a 600 of hutang labor. So if you don't want to book an account here, based on this one, these are actually all the information, all the recording yang belum record. Okay, meaning kita belum buat, uh, we haven't record this one, therefore we have to do something called pelarasan. That's what we have been learning. Okay, so from A, A, B, C, D, all the susut nilai, account nominal, hutang lapo, all are the concept that you have to understand. Okay, after you understand the concept of the polarization, then you apply into here and then you do adjustment polarization. All right? So like for this one, seorang perangan dalam meninggal dunia dan baki hutangnya 500 dihapus. So when there's this, so this is an additional hutang lapo. This hutang lapuk is already recorded. I already told you this 600 is already recorded in your book. But this 500 memang belum bila. Therefore, my hutang lapuk is already it at it after 500. So, it increased to 1,100. You see or not? So, I have to add in. Mind the color for your ABT because there is a hutang lapuk. Therefore, I have to minus out the 500. So, it becomes 20. Is a twenty-seven thousand five hundred because hutang is always taking out from your ABT. So how do we add 
So if you want to do a ledger, the hudang lampok, the baki bb should be on the debit side. Right, so maybe here I put this number first. Baki bb. So because this is on 31st December 2020, meaning all this amount is part of the 31st December. So how much? 600. Then now there's a new hutang lapo. So hutang lapo always with debit. So here, from where? From account balloon the river. 600 ringgit. Oh, sorry, 500. Is it all right? So if you want to hunter, then it becomes eleven. So now no, let's say I want to hunter now. Okay, hunter to the account. Okay, so now I love 11,100, sorry, 1,100, 1,100. So this account will be 1,100. That's why here I add. So this amount will be the amount that we show in account untung rugi. Please learn this up. Why? Because later we have to do all these things. You see? And it's actually the same thing. But now I'm just breaking it part by part for you to understand so that when you come to here, it won't be too difficult because you can see like all these are imbangan duga and then all these are the maklumat tambahan that you have to do the pelarasan. So from here, you have to straight away, you cannot do the account one by one already. Okay, you have to straight away go into perdagangan dan untung lagi. That's why you have to understand why here I plus you. So in exam, you don't have time. So it's straight away plus 500 minus 500. But why do we have to learn all this ledger? Because there are some questions, because in your Kertas Duo, there are about five to six questions. There are six questions to be precise. And you have to choose five questions, isn't it? So from there, there are one question, one or two questions is something like this. You have to do ledger. Okay? For the Pelarasa. That's why you have to learn how to do the account for it. Alright? That's why here, it becomes 1,100. Okay, and I have to minus out from this ABT. Right? So done for one. Next will be for your PHR, Pohuntukang Hutang Ragu. But how do we calculate for this Pohuntukang Hutang Ragu? So very simple. But before that, let's record. Because they, uh, the PHR is already given. 720. Is it? So therefore, what is this? This is actually a Old PHR. The old means what? Referring to last year. This is 2020, isn't it? So last year will be 2019. So this is 2019 punya PHR. So you bring down, becomes January 1. Okay. Baki BB 720. So now we have to calculate what is the PHR for 2020. So, PHR, 2020. So, what is the formula you're using? ABT berse account belum terima berse times the percentage. So, how much? So, what is the ABT berse now? So, you're using your ABT usually uh, it's supposed to be 28,000 but now you have to minus the extra 500. So you'll be wondering, eh, do we have to add back? The answer is no. You don't have to add back 500, uh, 550. Do I have to minus this 600 as well? The answer is no. Because this 28,000 is the amount that is selepas detecting the hutang lapo 600. Okay, so meaning whatever is shown in here is already re recorded. Therefore, this 28,000 is already after minus your hudang lapo, 600. But the reason we are minusing out 500 is because this is an extra maklumat that we did not record before. That's why now, we number A, 
but room record like yeah so i have to minus out this 500 sekarang that's yeah, so why you minus 500 then only times the percentage four percent so you just remember whenever you see hutan lapok here you don't have to minus it already but then if you see hutan lapok in your manumba tambahan then you have to minus like what i've done here all right so 28,000 minus 500, you get 27,500, then times 4%. You get 1,100. So this is your PHR for 2020. So last is 720. This is 11,000, sorry, 1,100, meaning there is a per tambahan PHR. So you calculate that using this year, 1,100 minus last year, 720. So per tambah berapa? 300. See? So here, if you want to record, skip on line. And straight away, double line. Okay, and then only here you put 2021. Remember what I taught you? January 1. Baki BB. So this January 2021 being January 1, you should put this year 1100. So when there's a BB, there is a HB. One, one, zero, zero. All right, then you compare lah. That bit will side a little bit better. That bit side, one, zero, zero. So here will be one, one, zero, zero. So how much is this one? One, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero minus 720. We get 380, same figure. What is this trend 80? This is a per um, bahan peruntukan hutang ragu. This one, per tambahan PHR. This one, December 31st. Okay, so this is how you record for your account. PHR Okay, then next count lengkapan. This account lengkapan very simple, isn't it? So uh, we just record all the baki into it first. Right, so account lengkapan fifteen thousand. So the baki for account, and as you can see, they already given you the debit and credit side. So you just follow like PHR seven hundred twenty is on the credit side. Here, credit side. That's why it's in the credit side. Fifteen thousand lengkapan on the debit side. Therefore, this should be in the debit side. See. It? But of course, sometimes they won't be so good to show you. Like for like for this question, you see, it's just one straight line. Then you have to know lah. All right. Like, is it an asset or a belanja or what? So if it's an asset, memang is on the debit side. So like lengkapan is an asset. That's why I know it's on the debit side. Fifteen thousand. Okay, then for your susu net tekumpu, susu net tekumpu is should be on the credit side, the baki bibi. And here they really show you on the credit side. So BBB, 3000. Right, so after you put the baki bibi for both. Now, you have to know that this lengkapan dijual bila? 31st December 2020. So like just now question. So from 1st January sampai 31st December 2020, there is a what? There is susut nilai. Because we are still using it sampai 31st December 2020. So how do we record for this susut nilai? So you have to calculate lah, right? 
So the susu nilai lengkapan for 2020. All right. So all this working, you can show, show beside, lah, okay? If you want to calculate. Because you have to calculate or you don't know. So this is using what kaida? Atas cost. So atas cost means uh, garis lurus. All right, so it's using cost times the percentage straight. So here the cost is 15,000, the cost lengkapan, times the percentage which is 10 percent. You get RM 1,500. Right, so this is a susun nilai. So if it is susun nilai for 2020, I have to credit my SNT. Here I put susu nilai lengkapan. How much? 1,500. December 31st. Okay. Then only there is a selling on 31st December. You draw can. So if you draw, maksud, I have to tutup send pindah lengkapan to my pelupusan. So same thing lah. We already learned just now. So here, December 31st, hantar to perlupusan lengkapan 15,000. So you credit, here you debit lah. So lengkapan. 15,000. Okay, so after that will be your SMT. You have to hunt out to the Pelupusan because you are selling your lengkapan. So you add up 4,500, 4,500, 4,500. 2, per Lupusan lengkapan. So here, send to here, 4,500. Send T, so now to kumpul lengkapan. Then, after that, will be your bank. I told you right. So check the terima, the bank gun. So bank is here lah because wang masuk mah, right? So how much yang kamu terima? Nine thousand. So from here you can see mana lebih besar. Can be said lebih besar. So you skip line and double line. Fifteen thousand on the debit side. Credit fifteen thousand. So here you're using 15,000 minus 4,500 minus 9,000. You get 1,500. So this 1,500, if it is here, this is a rugi atas pelupusan lengkapan. It's just that simple. Done. Then this one already hantama. So 15, 15,000 balance, then you inbound. Double line. Yep. So, yep. If SEP, tekan D in the chat box. If you are SEP. Not yet. i give you some more time. If done, you give a D in the chat box.
All right. Okay, so we already completed question one. So next class, when we come back, we'll continue with question two. Then we do question three together. All right, so question three, you can see a lot of last time that you have to do and then accompany again, accompany you. So make sure you remember the format for accompany and untung rugi and also your PKK. Because in exam, you're going to use it combined with everything that we learned from Bak Lapan, the Pelarasan here. Okay, so before I let you go, let me give you the homework for today, page 199. You have to do question 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, and then page 180. You do a question 40. So this question 40 is a warm-up because I want to refresh your memory for all the format for a Kambadangan and Untung Rigi and also a PKK. So you have to do this question 40. So when we come back, you at least you know lah, okay, you still remember like why the format like that, okay, how you do the format. Okay, and then for this 23, 24, 25, 26 is the question for the Pelarasan, mainly the Pelupusan. Okay, and also some mixed question uh, in your person. So total will be five questions for your homework today. All right, so if you have noted down, then you may leave and I will see you in the next class. All right, see you guys. Take care. Goodbye.